Good morning, friends. I'm having coffee. I am just chilling. Yesterday was great. I we played a show, our band played a show at a music festival, so it was just awesome. Love that. And you know, when I speak about this, I was talking to my bass player, and a year ago, this was a pipe dream for me. Two years ago, I've always played acoustic guitar, and this is the power of our thoughts and our mind and our belief in self. Two years ago, just over two years ago, I'd barely ever picked up an electric guitar and played it. And for those who are musicians know, acoustic is very different than electric. Singing on stage to loud music is so much different than singing over acoustic music. Like it's just the way you project your voice, the way you hold yourself. Um, it's just so different. Learning how to use pedals, effects pedals, and hook everything up. Like I didn't know any of it. And it's 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 interesting how the world works and the reason I'm telling you this is this is the power of our thoughts and our belief never used to believe in myself in this realm um, I was told a lot of my life I like I took piano for years when I was young always played acoustic never really went very far with it because I was always told I wasn't good or I thought I wasn't good so those projections were thrown back at me always told I couldn't sing you know and but as a kid, I dreamed of being a rock star, you know, like most kids have these big dreams. And it was funny because my mom called me the other day and she's like, look at your childhood dreams are coming true. And I'm like, if they really are. And it's interesting that it took 41 years. That being said, when I bought that electric guitar, I had no clue this would happen. But in the back of my mind, there was always that seed planted that the right people would come. I just have to practice. Like, how do you even write a song, you know? And the people came. They came. And one person came, one left. And then a new person came in and brought other people in. And now we have this amazing band that makes amazing music and sounds. And this is the persistence and the power of the mind, but also letting go of expectation. When we manifest consciously, if we have a lot of resistance to something that's very emotionally triggering, sorry, my cat is very needy, hi Willow. When we have a lot of resistance to things that are triggering, say it's like a relationship or a specific person or a family member or something really big, we will sit and have a dialogue that it's not possible. You know, I've had that too, but with this manifestation, I didn't have the resistance the same way. I started to believe in myself years ago that I was really good and I was worth it and I can do this. Music is my soul. Like music is part of my life. It always has been. And um, yeah, I just kept persisting and not even in a way that I knew that I was persisting, but it just, doors started to open up. And that's the beauty. It's these bridge of incidents that come in. And, you know, if you know anything about Neville Gar Goddard and his teachings, it's the birds before land. And we all know that I don't teach any one teaching. I, I love analogies. So Neville Goddard has great analogies, great teachings. That being said, I don't go by one book. I teach from my experience. I learn from my experience what works and what doesn't. And you need to do that too. So these birds before land will come in, meaning you start to see things, half manifestations come into fruition, and then they come. I'll tell you this, a month ago, two months ago, oh, it might've been three, we signed up for a music festival that we played yesterday. We didn't even have like enough finished songs to play a small set. And we had a 30 minute set, which isn't big, but we did it. Like we just persisted. We knew we could do it. And how many times in your life have you done things like that? Where you're like, oh, it looks so impossible, but it always works out. And that's what I tell myself with anything that seems like there's like an unrealistic timeline. It's like, no, it always works out. Everything always works out effortlessly. I remember at jobs being under pressure and it's like everything would always work out. It's just how life is. And it always has for me. The beauty of it is I switched into not having the chaos in my life that paired with that things working out. Cause I used to call in a lot of chaos around me to have things work out. Now I'm like, things flow easily. Things are beautiful. You know, it's all like, it's just beauty. Things work out. And I want the same for you in your life. Things coming to fruition easily and effortlessly. There's still work that needs to be put in. Like for the band, I still have to practice. I don't over practice though. 
that's the key. If I overpractice, then the resistance comes in because then I'm overthinking, I'm getting anxious. Like I'll tell you this, there was a moment on stage where my anxiety started to come in, where I was overthinking, oh my gosh, am I gonna play right? Am I gonna hit a wrong note? And then I was like, Becky, just breathe. If you hit a wrong note, you just go right back into it. Nobody knows. And that's what you do, and this is life. If you hit a wrong note in life, I love this analogy, if you hit a wrong note, do the wrong thing, just chill, like, and let it flow. Because we're human, we're living a human experience and nobody will know. You know how people know when you hit a wrong note in life, when you hold yourself so accountable that the shame, the guilt, the fear, you know, all of that, you start beating yourself up, you allow other people to beat you up, don't. Walk into a room like you own it and not in an egotistical way, but carry yourself like that every day in life. Own the room, own your surroundings. This kitty's so cute, she's so sweet. Own your surroundings, own your life, walk like you own it. You are the empress, the queen, the king. Sorry, my cat's bumping the phone. You are the everything in your reality. Hello, hi, can you get down for a minute? I'm trying to talk and I don't want to spill my coffee. Sweet cat. Well, yeah, you are. You are the creator, the curator. And I started writing a course on this because I think it's so important. So many of us disconnect from that power within us and how to really, really tie into it. We get caught in these cycles of healing that we need to continue to heal everything. And then we get caught in that cycle. We, we see amazing things start to come to fruition and then we overthink it and we sort of push our manifestations away because remember you never kill them you never like you never ruin them but when we bring that resistance in we start to push them away again and we make there be more of a time lapse we say oh well this just wasn't meant to be i've learned that is baloney that is bullshit anything that you desire and want and persistent is meant to be the only person holding you back from it is you and your mindset so remember that this is my mom voice coming out it is meant to be if you want it to be you will make it you will create it how many times in your life have you believed in something and wanted it and persisted and you brought it into fruition probably many and those might be big things those might be small things you know think of all the small manifestations you bring in on a daily basis do you know why they're so effortless because you don't hold any resistance to them they aren't emotionally charged manifestations. You don't sit there and worry about, oh, what if I don't get this? Oh my gosh, what if I go to the store and I don't get a parking spot close? What if I go to Starbucks or McDonald's and the person in front of me doesn't buy me a coffee? You don't worry like that. Why with the big things do we worry? Because honestly, we are perfect, whole and complete, no matter what. And the more you begin to believe that, the better it is. So comment below, drop a line, send me a message. I am writing this course on this based on my experiences, based on my life, based on the teachings that I, that I engulf myself with. And I wanna show you and share with you how to do this. I'm not sure how long the course will be. I know it'll be more than one session, so it might be five, five weeks of just digging deep and understanding our power, but it's going to be awesome and eye-opening. This is like a one-on, this is just a, this is going to be the most amazing course on how to create. And I know when I work one-on-one -on -one with my clients, just speaking about this, they have they give me feedback within days about small things coming in like it and then big things begin to come in. It's just about persisting and shifting that mindset, creating new patterns, new patterning in our mind, new ways of perceiving and thinking and taking things on, <coughs> not beating ourselves up. That's a big one. When something is perceived to not go right because everything just is. There is no right or wrong. You are the captain. You're steering your ship. Are you going to steer it into the iceberg or the island? Or are you going to steer it into the calm water off to your destination? You get to decide at every moment how you steer through the, through the little bit of turbulence that comes up in your life. Anyway, drop a line if you're interested. I'll put you on the waiting list and you will be the first to know when it's released. But I have a good feeling it's going to start in like October because that's when life sort of gets calm again. 
Um, that being said, September is very busy for me, so I have very limited availability for one-on-ones. If you're wanting to book with me one-on-one, -on -one, get in there. Um, if there is a time that on my calendar that doesn't, sorry, my eyes itchy. If there's a time on my calendar that doesn't work for you and you're hoping for something else, you can always reach out. I just put like, especially for September because I have some courses I'm taking, I can always maybe work around them. So I love you. Have the most amazing day and I'm sure I'll come back on later. And remember, believe in yourself. That is the first thing and release the resistance. Bye.